Highway. Hey, everybody. It's Off the Highway, and um, I'm here with Reba Riley. She is the author of a great book, Post Traumatic Church Syndrome, a memoir of humor and healing in 30 religions. Uh, Reba, great to see you. Um, Always good to see you, Timmy. You're such a doll. Um, so, you kind of went on this journey, a, a journey of sort of faith recovery that led you through 30 religions, which is a bizarre story, and then you write a memoir about it that's hysterical and fantastic and um, insightful. And I would just like to hear you talk about, um, like, can can a Christian like find insight and healing in other religions? You went to 30. I mean, is that even possible? Can we even think that way as Christians? Well, when I went on the journey, I didn't identify as Christian. Oh. So that's a good starting point. Um, to answer that question, absolutely. I think we almost have a mandate to see truth wherever it's found, wherever there's love and light. And I can tell you from visiting firsthand, thir I think it was 37 by the time I was done, uh, different places and types of worship, that in every place I found one person or one principle at least where that love and light was very, very present. So, yeah, absolutely. I think, I think we can. So that kind of lifestyle of harvesting wisdom, um, wherever we go. I mean, what what advice would you give to sort of the someone who wants to be spiritually whole as they walk out in the world and they're meeting all these diverse people? You know, when I am going through my days now, I feel like what what I took from that whole journey is that idea of 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 gathering the wisdom. And I know you wrote a book a lot about. Uh, for, remind me of the title. Neighbors and wise. Neighbors and wise men. Well, Very good. Neighbors and wise men. Yeah, where you know when I when I am I consider things. I hate to use this term because it comes from the, the old language, but divine encounters. Right. Um, that there really is, if if you can tune into it, I call it the Godverse now. If you can tune into it, that there will be people and circumstances that come into your life that teach you and you teach them in turn. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful way to live. Um, if you can consciously be on that path and, and that's where I'm at now is, you know, I'm not going through the 30 religions, but, um, I mean, every day there's several things that I learned from. So great. I'm amazed by religious people are so quick to use these like sky high terminology about God. God is omnipresent and omniscient and omni, 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 you know, and yet, um, and yet we're not willing to say God is omni creative, able to speak in all places at all times through anyone in any way. We somehow want to limit God in that way. God can never speak to me through a Muslim, for instance, or through a pagan or through a Wiccan or whatever. And like, what, what kind of God is it that your theology is set up for you? Because that doesn't sound like the God I read about in the Bible or that our language seems to support. I think if we look at the Bible, God speaks through a heck of a lot of things <laughs> that aren't where we would expect him <laughs> to be. Um, and, you know, it's funny you bring up the Omni part, because I've actually been giving that a lot of thought really? recently. And uh, a way that I've come to think about it is um, the, the, so the force that is always all around us, the force that is causing trees to grow, that's causing the seasons, that all that is... I mean, that is all around us, and that is that is God force, you know? I mean, that's that's what we're tuning into. So I don't think it's, it is all around us. Like, there's no denying it. It's what's keeping your heart beating, um, everything. Everybody, it's post-traumatic church syndrome. That's Reba Riley. Thanks a lot. This is Off the Highway. Uh -huh.